to that down in a moment. Well, it's a lovely, bright, sunny day, and it's a good day to go in a price of job. Still shattered. It's been a real busy uh, last couple of days. I was so busy, like I said in the last vlog, that uh, I didn't even get round to do any photos or even clips. Just a couple of photos. Uh, we were asked by Bal not to take anything uh, in the unit, the training unit, um, and so I just respected that. Uh, but it was a bit frustrating because I should have been doing some clips in a, an area where it wasn't going to be compromised, where I could have filmed the guys that were actually coming to the uh, Bal training day, and there was approximately about 45 46 guys that turned up uh, some turned up the night before there was about 30 30 odd there and uh, we had a great day a uh, great evening a great day and uh, very informative and then i made my way to go and see uh, another supplier with a different product uh, which you would have seen about artificial grass on how to install artificial grass so we're going to try and set up a day there and learn a little bit more about uh, artificial grass and get some guys together and start forming some opinions and try and find a, a decent common denominator on how to install artificial grass uh, there's lots of ideas out there on it and uh, it's great when you hear off other people and uh, you can start filtering it through but now I'm off to see another job now. I'm going to go and price a driveway. I'm priced a driveway for a while. Um, well, I've done one a little while back. Um, let's go and have a look. And uh, if you guys got any opinions on it, I'll, uh, I'll show you the clips and uh, share your opinions with me. And remember, this isn't just for trade. It's for DIYers and also consumers that is looking for a decent contractor. But I've got my branded top on. There we go. Nice and clean, nice and fresh. I did have a shave... Uh, yesterday so i'm looking good and i've got my little clipboard with my pen and i'll show you i'll show you the customer's details and my business card on there so presenting with a business card let's go see what transpires got this caravan here it's quite a long one uh, they want some extension onto their driveway that's going to go in that area there and then we've got various other cars and uh, along this part here they want to maintain that border so uh, it's going to be about 600 900 border so we're going to have to put a pin curb in all along this way because we've got movement in the driveway and uh, that tree's got to come out because there are Lots of roots coming through, so that tree unfortunately has got to go, which is such a lovely tree, but there we are. Well, here we go. I thought I was filming myself then, but <laughs> I wasn't. Um, yeah, we got the tree to come out, and it's such a shame because it's an ace of campestry. It, it offers a lot to the front of the garden, uh, but it's just pushing the roots up. If he's going to pave that area, you don't really sort of leaving that tree and, and then the roots start pushing up it's just a waste of time um he's seen a neighbor's garden where he, he wants the standard drive line 50 it's the pet like a pennant gray color so we're going to do that if it comes to when once we've given the quote and it's within his budget i am going to take him some other blocks blocks because it's always nice to have an option of the block that you want for your drive it may just fit within his budget and i think it would look better anyway but it's so important that we make sure that the compaction rates are good on here simply because he's going to put a caravan on there and the, and the wheels on the caravan in comparison to his nissan he got a nissan uh 4x4 there or an suv as they say um they're quite wide but it's the narrow ones that actually sometimes can cause that traction that tracking rather so we've got to make sure we put a geotextile underlay and we really severely compact this and make sure that we probably dig a little bit deeper than the 150 mil there's going to be about three cars i think there's two cars rather and a caravan that's going to go on there um We've got to put the pin curbs in, make sure the pin curbs go in, because what you don't do, we don't want that momentum uh, moving the drive in any way. So we've got to make sure everything's nice and stable. So important. Good access, I have to say, on here. So that'll play a major part. The other thing that we're actually going to do, we're going to put, well, we're going to ring rather. I have to excuse me, I'm tired at the moment, still from that training day. Uh, we're going to do a dial before before you dig. All right, that's, in our case, we use Western Wales Utilities down this area. And um, we'll give them, there's a service they offer, dial before you dig. And they come out and have a little look. Uh, to see where on their plans if there's any gas pipes you know yes you can dig yes you can start looking for them hand dig and find them and find them but you may find the one for the house but you don't know there's so many houses nearby 
some of those pipes might be coming through there so it's about uh, stripping off gradually and uh, you know with a grading bucket first and uh, start exploring and start having a look do a good site survey so we've got to make sure we get it right because if we got this wrong with all the houses around here especially around here you know it's dangerous anyway but you know it's just not good when you start hitting services it happens occasionally granted but you can repair a gas pipe you can even repair electric electric cable you know usually it's okay but you can get it repaired but gas is really really dangerous the electrics are dangerous of course as well but uh, I always worry about the the gas. But if you've got any advice or any any pointers that you want to put, just comment in the uh, in the comments uh, before uh, below. And uh, don't forget, mine. Please subscribe. Uh, this channel is for everyone, even DIYers, consumers, and trade. And it's off the trade and the consumers and the DIYers that we all learn. As Mark Twain said, never let schooling get in in, in the way of your education. We're all le learning every day. Every day is a school day. Well, here it is. This is my new axe from Fiskars. It's called the Norden Number no. Ten. It's got like this carbon neck here. We'll have a read of up a bit later. And this hickory stock. I don't think there's anything else like it on the market. If there is, tell me. But there we are. Look, look at that. Very nice. Caught me having a sweet back in the house. Beautiful sunny day. Still a bit cold. Well, I went through all of it then. How beneficial would it be to sort of show you guys and girls where I go out pricing these jobs? You know, um, I'm not going to give all the details away and what I actually charge, but I can actually break down the process. But then again, what is a fair price?